One of the most interesting phenomenons of human beings is our creativity, right? I mean, our ability to transform the world, our ability to imagine new possibilities, our ability to probe the perimeters of possibility, remix the present, to see into the adjacent possible, which Stephen Johnson refers to as a shadow future that hovers over the present state of things, a map of all the ways in which the present can reinvent itself. Creativity is just connecting things, as Steve Jobs says. And people who go into this creative zone, virtuosos of the imagination, those technician, ecstatic technicians of the sacred spaces of human virtuosity, athletes when they get in the zone, scientists when they have their eureka moments, musicians, artists when they enter these flow states, jazz musicians when they're improv Charlie Mingus as he rhapsodizes through a tumbling thicket of ideas with such a sharp and vital alacrity that it can take the breath away. These flow states are finally starting to be understood thanks to neuroscience. The part of the brain responsible for self-editing literally goes dim. So there is a kind of scrambling of the self. There is a scrambling of like the superego that's trying to like correct everything you do and censor and filter what is otherwise collective subconscious, active imagination, so to speak. And I think that these artists, these athletes, when they go into the flow state, you know, I'm sure that they've, they've, they've had their 10,000 hours of practice in whatever their skill is, but then they go into that flow state. Perfection is not just about control, it's also about letting go, they shut down their lateral prefrontal cortex and they enter the realm of the numinous, the realm of the imaginal, the realm where the dream becomes real. You know, that space, that headspace of flow is the place where dreams are born.